Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I talk about fragrance related content like first impressions. I do full in depth fragrance reviews. I do top 10 lists. I do fragrance haul videos and I do free fragrance giveaway videos. So if this information sounds cool and helpful to you and you're not subscribed yet already, please show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below and make sure you click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements as well. Today we're talking about a new release from the house of Dolce & Gabbana, and this is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Forever. This is the box it comes in. I'll zoom in so you can see the box. It's a 50 ml bottle, 1.6 ounce, it says here. And here's the bottle right here. I'll zoom in, you can see that as well. I picked up mine at Macy's, um, but it's available at Macy's and Nordstrom. Um, I'll leave the links down below where you can pick up a bottle if you want. It comes in the 50 ml and it comes in 100 ml of uh, 3.4 ounce for $110. So you're looking at about a $30 price difference um, if you wanna get the bigger size or you save $30 and get the smaller bottle. I got the small bottle. I have too many fragrances in my collection. I don't need a 100 ml bottle of anything anymore. <laughs> the note breakdown. So top notes of grapefruit. I'm sorry, grapefruit zest. We have Italian bergamot. Heart, we have violet. And we have violet leaf and we have ozonic notes. And top it off with the base, we have patchouli white musk, and we have java vetiver. Java vetiver, kind of weird. Let me spray this and let you know how I feel about it. Okay. I worn it a few times. And. Okay. It opens up a very freshness with the Italian bergamot, but mainly you get a, um, this kind of soury grapefruit vibe off of my skin when I wear the fragrance. And I didn't too much like the open. I know some people like the open. I didn't like the opening at all. To me, it felt like the grapefruit and the Italian bergamot mix didn't really blend well off of my skin. I didn't too much like the opening at all. The middle of the fragrance, I definitely pick up the violet leaf and I pick up the ozonic notes. Now the ozonic, the ozonic notes are notes that I get in the other um, Dolce Gabbana light blue sun that I have pour Homme edition has that sea salty type of feel like you smell like you're at the beach or the ocean kind of vibe and I do like that um, with this fragrance. I feel like the, the best part for me to fragrance is the mid. I kind of relate to it and I like the mid of the fragrance because it gives it that similarity to the Dolce Gabbana lineup. If you smelled Owen Tense, if you smell Dolce Gabbana uh, light blue Sun porn, which I have, you get that similarity to Dolce Gabbana with this DNA and this fragrance here. The dry down slash uh, base of the fragrance, you get this, you get vetiver and you get this white musk. I like it, but it's not my favorite. It just, this fragrance doesn't work well with my skin chemistry. And sometimes that happens. It's just, uh, to me, it's a disappointing release for me. I don't even like it. I did a few sprays. And I'm probably gonna return my bottle to Macy's or just sell it. it it doesn't smell good off of me. I let my girlfriend spray it. She didn't like it off, off of her skin. She didn't like it. And I sprayed it on my skin and she just didn't like the fragrance. And sometimes that happens. You're not going to swing a home run every fragrance that comes out. I understand Dolce Gabbana has to make new fragrances. And yeah, I love this bottle presentation. I think this bottle presentation is beautiful. One of their favorites, and I like the bottle pre, but the juice itself, it doesn't work with me. I don't like it. I don't even like wearing a fragrance. Heck, I really didn't want to review it, but I wanted to be honest. People always go, hey, why don't you do any videos where you don't like fragrance? Because it takes time to edit a video, a fragrance that you don't like, and literally have to spray it again to let you guys know how I feel about it. Yeah, I just don't like it. Um, now, there's some patchouli in it, so you get some patchouli, but the patchouli is very lightly. You get more vetiver and musk in the dry down. And if you like vetiver, you're gonna like this. But I think if you like a lot, of, if you like musk, you're definitely gonna like this fragrance here because the musk comes out a lot more. I took maybe towards the mid, but more in the dry down. The the, the musk and the vetiver come into play in this fragrance here, and it just doesn't work for me. Now we're gonna go into the performance category. Projection, me Percy, I'm getting about half an arm's length for about a good hour or so, and then it does come closer and closer to the skin on me so it's not a projection beast i did four sprays and it just didn't radiate very loudly off my skin you had to kind of get close to me to smell this type of fragrance which is okay if you want to save fragrance especially for the summertime or springtime i understand that so not a big deal 
longevity, you're looking at, for me personally, I'm only giving you a rating from when I wear the fragrance. So I get about longevity, I'm getting about a good five to six hours on my skin. It doesn't perform their best, but you know, it does lean in that freshy type of category for a summer scent with vetiver and musk. So please keep that in mind. But you know, the longest I got was about five, maybe six hours pushing it. It's okay for a summer slash spring fragrance from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. And this is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Forever. Seasons and occasions, me personally, this is gonna be your spring and summer fragrance only. I wouldn't wear this in the fall, I wouldn't wear the winter. It won't perform and you're gonna to have to respray all over just to get whiffs of the fragrance. That's just me personally. This isn't gonna be a, a beast monster fragrance. Now, if it is on your skin, that's awesome. For me, it was very, very lightly off my skin after the first hour or two hours of application it was kind of a bummer it just didn't perform for me and sometimes that happens with certain fragrances on everybody's skin chemistry will depend on it so if i get worse and you say you get better that's awesome there's no need to fight enjoy the fragrance occasions for me personally i would just wear it casual i don't feel like this is a dress up fragrance i would go with something better especially in the spring and summer if you're going to dress up i would go with a, maybe a higher designer fragrance like Dior Sauvage, Blue Day Chanel, um, Versace Dylan Blue. Fragrances like that are gonna get you comments. This should get you comments maybe that first hour or so, but this is not a, a heavy beast smell comment getter fragrance from the testing I've wanted to work and running errands, not at all. My rating for this fragrance here and my final thoughts, I'm gonna give this um, a three out of 10. It's okay, it's below average. It's nothing that I would rebuy again. Uh, if you want to try it out, you like Dolce Gabbana lineup, definitely try it out. But just keep in mind that if you wear this and you feel like you're not smelling it, it may not perform on your skin. But, you know, at the end of the day, you might like this fragrance. I don't like it. I would say, hey, check it out. I'm not going to recommend you go buy it but or blind buy it. I blind, blind bought this and I struck out. Um, but you should definitely check this out if you like the lineup of Dolce Gabbana and the note breakdown. Definitely check this out here. This is my worst release that I bought of 2021 so far. And we're only in the middle of April now. My birthday is next Friday, April 30th. This is a waste for me. I'm gonna return it or sell it and buy maybe Bad Boy La Parfum um, or YSL Y La Parfum. This is horrible. I'm, I don't like it one bit and I wasted $80 on a fragrance, but that does happen. You may love it. Leave a comment down below if you love it or you hate it. It's all good. I just can't recommend you to go buy this. I would recommend you to go smell it on your skin at a boutique, either Dolce Gabbana Boutique or at Macy's or Sephora or Nordstrom, try it out, but I don't like it. And just keep that in mind. You may not like it the same way. Thank you for watching another fragrance video. I'm sorry this video was kind of like a letdown or just a lot of negativity, but I, it just doesn't work. And I, I hate doing videos like this because it takes too much energy to do a bad review. But here it is, it's Dolce Gabbana. It is what it is. Thank you guys for watching another video. If you like this type of content, I hope you hit the like button, click that red subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. And make sure you click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements. I'll see you next video, peace.